High up in the Andes Mountains, one of the oldest known weaving techniques is still being practiced. Using simple tools, the women here ply and weave the yarn they've dyed themselves. There are no mechanical looms here in the Cajamarca region. Most villages here don't even have electricity. But that's changing, like here in Choro Blanco, a remote village at an altitude of 3,000 meters. The signs of progress are impossible to overlook. Power lines and street lighting are changing the way that people live. Before we couldn't do anything after darkness fell, and now I can make use of that time at night before I go to bed. And we don't have to buy batteries anymore either. Choro Blanco literally means white jet. The village got its name from a nearby waterfall. That's also become a source of clean energy. Employees from the aid organization Soluciones Practicas, or Practical Solutions, say they can provide power to the most remote villages without CO2 emissions. Gilberto Villanueva heads the eco-friendly electricity project in Choro Blanco. The engineer says the Andes region is rich with steep mountain cliffs and roaring waterfalls, with great potential for producing hydropower. There's around 250,000 megawatts of power in Peru. That's a lot. But only about 10% of it is being tapped at the moment. The government says it wants to build massive centralized hydroelectric power stations. That way, Peru can reduce its dependency on fossil fuels. But so far, the government's plans remain a future vision. There's been virtually no state help to build the water conduit and the turbine house in Choro Blanco. Instead, Gilberto Villanueva had to rely on the manpower and determination of the villagers themselves. Construction took almost two years to complete. Half the battle was transporting machines and materials to the remote mountain village. People here have long been wondering why they didn't take advantage of the waterfall to produce electricity. That was their dream. When we approached them with our project, they had high hopes. Politicians don't pay any attention to the small villages in this area. They just make empty promises. This small hydroelectricity plant produces around 20 kilowatts of power enough to meet the needs of the 60 local households. One villager was trained to monitor and maintain the generator to prevent breakdowns. It's crucial for the locals to understand how the technology works. The closest large town is five hours drive away. The Cajamarca region now has more than 40 of these micro plants. Together, they supply electricity to nearly 4,000 people, more cheaply than the national energy provider. In days gone by, the villagers had to depend on diesel generators and candles, which were expensive and bad for the environment. But their new eco-friendly power has meant big changes, especially in Choro Blanco's school. This classroom used to just have a blackboard and chalk, now it has a computer. It's the children's first contact with the digital world. Even very basic educational software captivates the students. Cuántos son? Trece menos tres. 
ya después de sus trabajos que tienen it gives the children a chance to expand their horizons they can listen to music or watch tv after they've done their homework the electricity also gives us new economic opportunities some families in the area have already invested in electronic devices for the home For years, Choro Blanco has been suffering from the effects of rural migration. The young people move to the cities to find work, leaving the older generations behind. The Andes region is one of the poorest in Peru. But electricity is seen as a key to a better future. Gilberto Villanueva says the tide is already turning. One young man moved back from the capital, Lima, to his home village. He invested all his savings in woodworking machines so that he could open up a small carpentry shop. A lot of people left, like I did, because there was no electricity here and that meant no work either. You couldn't get anything up and running here. But now that the village has power, living conditions have improved. Maybe some others will come back. The sun is setting in Choro Blanco. At one time, that signaled the end of the day for the villagers. But now, they turn on the lights. Some families have even bought TV sets. It's another way for people here to move closer to a world that seems so far away from their remote Andean home.